right, guys, back for another video. The tow pig is finally gonna be getting some love and getting the lift kit put on. Um, we made some progress on the other builds in the shop, but this video is gonna specifically highlight the dually and the tow pig and all the new parts we're putting on it from Stryker um, to get this thing ready for showdown in the valley. Now, let's see what Bubba's doing right now. Bubba, you taking some steps off, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, are they loose again? Yeah. Yeah, all right, well, they'll come off easy. Um, so we gotta take our factory RAM power running boards off uh, to get this thing on the lift properly. And then we're gonna start installing all our beautiful parts. Um, we're gonna start with the four link kit in the front um, and then we'll get it back off the lift and do the cradle and traction bars and stuff like that. But excited to see the dually finally, you know, get some love. She's been, she's been deprived of some love for a while. So we gotta decide what we're gonna do to her next. Um, drop a comment on what you think we should do to the dually next. So it's got 26s on it right now. I think I want to do bigger wheels on it, but we will see. I'm going to talk to JTX today and uh, see what they think about us going a little bigger on the wheels. But I'm going to let Bubba get to work. Um, hope you all enjoy the video. Bub has most of the lift on. We're kind of running into some problems trying to figure out some little things. So this is actually the ball stud for the back uh, height sensor. He's got the four link on and the cradle on. But what we're about to do is um, normally it goes into the top hat and we have new top hats um, that are not drilled for these. So we're gonna drill and tap uh, the side of this and put the ball stud into the side of it. Um, it'll kind of match the way the factory one goes. But after that, I mean, what we got left, Bob? Just traction bars? Yeah, just traction bars, and we're ready to rock. So we'll have the tow pig wrapped up today. I'm going to go get a tap in the Hell Kitty, and uh, hopefully we'll get this thing done because we have got to make it to the fab shop today. But I'm going to run to town. All right, so for anyone that's, you know, got rear ride height sensors on the 3500, um, and they're doing a lift. This is a little trick we had for the top hats on the striker stuff. We got a six millimeter, uh, I think it's, what is it, Bob? Six by one? Yeah. Six by one. Drill and tap. We drilled and tapped and then screwed the ball stud into the side of this. It's going to retain your factory sensor height location um, and everything's going to work how it should. Now, all we have left to do is get the traction bars on and we're going to get this thing finished up today. And then we are going to head to. Uh, get the trailer, get loaded, and we got some stuff coming. Um, all of our stainless material came in for our hood mirrors. So we're going to be finally getting some shiny. Y'all be ready. In the next video, we should have plenty of them cut and ready to ship. I am going to put some on my personal trucks to show y'all before we start selling them to y'all. But, yeah, stay tuned for that. Always coming out with new parts here, guys. Always. So the Dooley Center Cradle's on. The four-link kit's on. Um, let's get these traction bars on. All right, guys, sorry to interrupt the video. Um, got to throw a quick merch plug. We got a lot of new stuff in this week. Let's take a look. So we did just get our new Tropic shirts in in every size. Uh, I think I said that in another video, but we finally, I think we were missing XL, but we have them all now. We got a restock on the pink shirts. We got a restock on the teal truck shirts. And I believe we have a restock coming of the single cap shirts that might be right there. So uh, also the It Ain't That Deep shirts are finally back in stock. Sorry about that, guys. Took forever. The main thing that I wanted to show y'all is our new tumblers. Now, we didn't want to make an overpriced tumbler because the Eddie's like $40 or most people's tumblers are $30 to $35. So these tumblers are going to be $25 on the website and they do come with like a straw. Pretty good quality. Um, they're 20 ounce tumblers. Appreciate y'all if you grab one. If not, enjoy the video. <music> Thank you. 
right, guys, we've got our limited mega cab tow pig build kind of wrapped up for now. We do have a lot more plans for this thing. Um, I just am kind of debating what we're going to do to make it tow better. Now, it already does pretty good with the load considering we pull about, um, the trailer's about 10 and each truck's about 85 to 9. So, I mean, it, it pulls over 25,000 pounds on almost a weekly basis. So, like, it does pretty good at the power level it's at, but let's take a look at the truck. So, this is my 2020 Mega Cab. Um, I'm sure I've said that about 15 times already, but I do just want to specify for anyone that's new to the channel. Um, obviously the truck's got a lot of paint matching and stuff, but it's not completely done, but we're not sure how much more paint match we're going to do considering this truck is going to be something we are going to daily drive. Now we just finished up the striker four link. As you can see, it's beautiful with those custom etched FP faceplates in white and milled. Um, and then we got the center cradle that's floating. These all kind of drill and tap into the frame. And they're, they're not the easiest thing in the world to install, but they are a really nice product and it does add like a lot of, a lot of, I, I, I don't know what you'd call the center section, but like, yeah, it looks a lot better than when you have a traction bar mount here and then a radius arm drop there. And then there's just that big space. It kind of makes everything kind of flow together. But we pretty much got everything we could from the boys over at Striker. Got the traction bars with the matching face plates also. All of it looks great. Huge shout out to those guys. We buy a lot of suspension parts off Striker, and we've never had a problem with quality. Another thing I want to point out, if I haven't already, is we do have the cool over conversion from Striker. Um, that is a great upgrade for any lifted Ram. I believe we may be going to cool coilovers here soon on the front of the single cab. We will see. Um, we've got some projects we need to wrap up around here first, but the single cab is going to be getting some love here soon. But that's pretty much the gist of this truck. Um, it's not got a whole lot done to it. Like I said, all I want to know is whether y'all think we should do compounds or like a VGT drop-in charger, like a Cheetah or something. Now, I do like the Cheetahs. They give more performance. They're easy to put in. And it's going to be a little less, I wouldn't say hard on the truck, but, you know, VGT turbos have, you know, the back pressure problem. So, you know, we could go S400 compounds or do we do, you know, a single... 63 millimeter cheetah let me know what y'all think we should do turbo wise on the tow pig this thing is still a stock transmission but it's an ascent truck so i'm not really worried about the trans it's done really good so far i might put a valve body and a converter in the trans just to kind of toughen it up for the compounds if we do decide to do that but uh, let me know we're going to be building this thing over the winter making a cool tow pig put some 28s on it i believe and see what we can do with this thing but again, guys, sorry for the lack of content here lately. Um, usually I try and pump out two videos a week, but here lately between all the customer project trucks, uh, us getting ready for SEMA and everything going on, I mean, it's just me and Bubba and my mom, we are stretched thin trying to get all these trucks done. We're getting stuff done every day on Lucas and Wyatt's truck. And then we got this, uh, we got an engine swap. We've got Gabe's truck, we gotta put a trans back in. We're making progress, guys, stay tuned. I'm probably going to bring a filmer with me for SEMA to bring y'all along on that adventure. So anyone that hasn't ever had the opportunity to go or wants to know what it's like to go to SEMA before they do it, we're going to try and pretty much cover the whole thing and let y'all know the ins and outs of SEMA. But appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment.